So waterfowl season's over. There's no sheds on the ground yet. Turkey season hasn't started yet. So what do you do? Well, if you're an avid waterfowl hunter, just like we are, you go out and you scout, and you scout, and you scout. Spring is the perfect time to scout. One, usually there's a spring goose season around somewhere, so you can scout your favorite spots. We so happen to live next to the Klamath Basin, so they have a spring spec season during uh, March, and so we can scout those areas as we're spring goose hunting. And the reason I say you scout now is because most all the ducks that are going to migrate will be at your places that you're going to hunt. So they're going to start filtering in during hunting season, and then they'll stick around and, and before they go back north in the spring. So there's a three-step process to this. Um, we hunt rivers. I like rivers. Rivers keep me away from uh, a lot of other people. Most time people don't know how to access rivers. So the first step you want to do is find the river you want to hunt. The first thing you got to do about that is you got to figure out if there's waterfowl in the area that you're going to hunt. The second thing is, and this is a secret that I'm giving out, and it's a good secret, is get Hunt on X. Hunt on X is an app for your phone, and it shows you land, and it shows you ownership, and it also shows you topography. So you find that river, you know that it's in the flyway, then you look on Hunt on X, and you look along the river, and you find the low-lying spots, okay? Now that, it'll show you little big, big ponds that are more than seasonal, but you're looking for those little ponds that, you know, in December when it really starts raining and snowing and melting and getting water in, that are gonna fill up. It'll, but it won't show you those, so now, once you find those low-lying areas by bends in the river and things, or where the river splits, you gotta put your feet on the ground. So first thing is, first thing, flyway. Second thing, hunt on X. Look at the topography. Third thing, or sec, uh, yeah, third thing, put your feet on the ground. Get out there and look. slews off of the river and this doesn't show up on your maps it won't show up in the riverbed so you got to get the feet down here but look at this this is a perfect setup you can get your boat right in there the decoys the ducks are going to want to be in this kind of stuff they're going to want to be in that they come over and eat the edges of these fields so this is the perfect place this is the reason we go out and scout so first thing you do on your topo map is you look for the low-lying areas and you look on the topo map for where the river breaks up a lot and that's where you'll find your low-lying areas and you'll find these these potholes will be in them and yeah at the beginning of the season next year there might not be as much water but by the end of it there should be so this is what you're after
know, that's how we scout for next season. That's what you're going to do to get success. So look at your map, look at hunt on X, find the river, find the low bottoms, go put your feet on the ground, and then look for birds. So if you like what you've seen, if you like the content that we're putting out, subscribe or follow us on Instagram at Southern Oregon Outdoors. And that's Southern underscore Oregon underscores outdoors with a Z on the end.